Hello and welcome back to Memory at Lightning Speed with a permanent memory stair and power recall. Memory calls to episode two, session 39. Thinking creatively like this is also a good basis for creative conversations. If you get used to thinking in pictures from the first moment you meet someone, then you're in the right frame of mind to discuss ideas, possibilities, and solve problems. You'll also be aware of what it takes for other people to remember you. Give them time to hear your name and take it in. When you are talking about yourself, try to sneak in pictures and stories, suggesting images and emotional responses for them to latch onto. It can only benefit you if people remember you and be more effective than the most expensive business card or website. Communicating effectively for memory talks, interviews, and presentations. What you have already learned about how the brain functions and how we learn and remember best can stand you in good stead when it comes to performing in the public area. You can tailor make your messages to appeal to all of your audiences by considering the following nine points. One, ensure you paint pictures with the words you use. Remember how the brain likes unusual, dramatic, and exciting images. Make sure you use sim similes and metaphors. Two, tap into the three modalities by giving your audience something to see, hear, and do. Three, include such information and present it in such a way that it will appeal to both left and right brained thinkers. Make use of the power of tapping into the senses of your listeners. Is it possible or appropriate to appeal to their sense of sight, feel, taste, smell, and touch? Four, put yourself in the shoes of your audience. Carry out some research. How do they think? Create empathy by understanding that people are mentally move first by the, how they habitually think and then by their feelings and emotions. Help them to make connections with things they already know in order to lead them into new territories. And if possible, personalize the images you are sending them. Tap into what will move or influence them emotionally. Five. Know that the way you open and close your presentation is important in terms of the powerful images you create. People pay most attention at the beginning and end of the interview or presentation. So it is also crucial to ensure that your audience doesn't lose interest in the middle of what you are saying. Pay special attention to how you structure that part. Again, make sure you use images, paint pictures, tell stories, give your listeners something to see, hear, and do. Make links and connections with what has already been said and signposts where you are taking the next. And you could check out the transcript on YouTube and also read the subtitles. I look forward to seeing you in the next session. If you like the video, share it with others as you see fit. Now join my library. There are more than 270 videos for you to watch and learn from. I see you in the course. Next click on video 
ADU. It's for you. Watch now and learn more. See you there. Thank you.